I'm here, as promised. That's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Nervous? Bringing an outlander before the chorus. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session? The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it so will and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? <laughs> So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a point. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed 
matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. Fighting in the fields ahead. The machine will shrug off as it. Okay. Machines don't look normal. We've seen these machines before. Hunter killers. They must have come from the cordon. Better out of the We have to move. We're gonna win. Well. Machines are everywhere. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? If I'm right, then... More machines! These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just Minerva and a missing life god in that cave. All we can here. We must press on.
This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Get up! You knocked out! Pieces are good! Get that weak spot again! No! Oh. to the cordon. Right behind. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. We cleared out the machines. Back to it, I guess. to the cave. May the land gods forgive our trespass. What is that? A kind of wall. Are you alright? Yes. We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow your lead, Aloy. Door. To understand what's going on in there, you're going to need one of these. On the temple. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll help. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. Let's go. 
We have to find There's the core so of this place. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Machines are here. Let's take them out. Right behind you. Being repaired too. And the spirit you're after is in here. <laughs> Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said, it wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killer machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the bad looks like those cables are blossoming way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. Oh. Standing on this floor panel, activated something. You doing so? This place looks like a hot space. It's it was meant for the main gods. No Utaro has ever I set foot in here. I can walk them out of place. To, right? Make a path up to help you and Aileen. To find Far. You did the right thing, so. That works! That did something. Climb all the way up now. And there she goes. Another floor panel. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. I wish I can find something to weigh this down. This crate should be heavy enough. Did you find a way across, Aloy? I'm working on it. <clears throat> Can't fit the crate through that opening. I think I can get the crate through that shield, but I'll have to go around. on the pillars should be exposed now.
She's so high up. Don't fall, <laughs> Aloy! How's it going up there, Aloy? I think I'm getting close. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. Justice's cables are all over that node. God. The cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Get up to the node. for you two. Engage! <laughs> 
Affirmative distribution. J1. Zeta. over facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile they used to be part of something good Sooner or later, we'll be unleashed. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become, if one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Varl, are you ready? of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Intrusion detected. Deploy. Here we go. I'm sorry, Fox. It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? One step at a time. But it starts now. It's time to 
Up we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. Data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Immediately. What exactly was this place? Error. Seen anything like it before? Initiate your facility no. lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Alert! Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope. Sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. another part of the facility. Don't think I'm getting through that door right now. I should turn back, see what else I can find. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility.
pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But how to reach them? If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? And why did they want it back up? Another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. It looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Is it me? Will cease? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Uh, I, 
A moment. Scanning data. So it is Aloy. Not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Laurel, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Establish the network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. So this was supposed to be... the lab? That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have- Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast 
that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Eleuthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. 
But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system, and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakt territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. 
That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. traveled high up the mountain since entering the sacred cave. It's hard to say. Can't tell if it's day or night in here either. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanoth clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. I wonder how much snow is gonna pile up. 